What is going on, good people? Good morning. Happy Monday. Uh, welcome back to Adventures in Digital Marketing. My name is Rob. That's who I am. <laughs> Coming in here bright and early on a Monday morning to come and talk to you guys about stuff. <clears throat> this is my daily show where I'm coming in here every day to talk to you about things that are going on, things that I'm working on that are in the web design and development and digital marketing and um, doing business online world. And I wanted to come in here this morning and talk to you a little bit about um, what's been going on with my content. So um, if you're new uh, to this show, first, you, you may have not heard me talk about the concept of a funnel hub, or uh, I call it a platform funnel. Um, but the, the, here's the basic idea. Um, Russell Brunson introduced this concept in Traffic Secrets that came out uh, in May of last year. It's actually been out for about a year now. Um, and, um, you know, the, the whole idea, I'll, I'll put a link to Traffic Secrets if you don't have that book below. But the whole idea is, you know, this idea of building a personal platform for, uh, you know, to add legitimacy and to build authority and to build up yourself as a subject matter uh, expert. And it's really important because I think a lot of people that are in the digital marketing world don't think about this step. And, um, you know, so they may have quick success and they may have great success, but sustainable success over time only comes when you are establishing yourself as a personal brand. Super important to um, be thinking about the long term. So I've got this concept that I've created. It's a framework that I call it a platform funnel. And one of the things that... Um, that I, it's one of the things I should say that I've used very successfully for my customers and my clients. And I've been doing this for a long time. And so I've kind of codified this all into this platform funnels concept. And one of the core concepts of a platform funnel is creating and publishing something regularly, right? Steve Larson talks about publishing every day. Russell Brunson talks about publishing every day. Um, that's, that's my take on it too. Um, basically, I've been publishing, I've been coming in here live every weekday, I should say, for uh, several months now. I'll have to go back and look and see when I first started doing this. Uh, but I come in here every day live. And then what I do with that is I, I take that, it goes to my YouTube channel, it goes to my podcast. And then in addition to that, one of the things that I've been doing new this year is creating a lot of blog content, text-based content and that does a couple different things it um it, it's providing people information in the way that they're most likely to consume it right because just because coming on here and doing videos is easy for me doesn't mean that that's the way people like to consume content i've actually had people blowing up my message uh messenger telling me that hey i would love to have a transcript of your podcast because you know i don't listen to podcasts but i'm you know, I, I'm interested in what you're talking about, so I would love to read it. And so th my whole objective with this is to create content that could be repurposed in multiple different kinds of ways. So, you know, this becomes a, uh, a blog post. It becomes a... Um, it becomes a YouTube video. It becomes, uh, you know, a podcast. So... Uh, all of these things work together to help me to elevate my platform, right? That's what I'm trying to do. It's been my mission over the last year or so to, you know, I've been doing this for people for so long. It's time for me to start working on doing this for myself. So over the last year, I've been working on developing and elevating my platform and trying to get my voice heard above all the noise that is the internet these days, right? Everybody's talking about stuff these days and it's hard to get heard. So, but what I wanted to tell you about specifically is what I've been doing since early January. And um, I've been creating blog posts for, uh, you know, for a while now and very specifically in a very targeted kind of way. And since then, I've published 33 different articles on my blog. I don't like calling them articles, but it just kind of is a word that fits. Um, and, and I've updated you guys a couple times, but I wanted to kind of give you a new overview about what's going on. So um, out of those articles that I've created since... Um, 
since January, 10 out of the 34 that I've created rank in the top three. And let's see, that's one, two, three, four. Looks like about nine of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of those I'm already ranking number one for in Google search results. And then I've got, uh, looks like three that are in the, in the top three results. And then um, out of all of these articles that I've created, 15 are rate, rated in the top uh, the top 10. So that means I'm hitting the first page of Google for 10 out of these 34 brand new articles. Now, what I'm not doing is doing a lot of extensive link building. Uh, I'm not doing any of that stuff. I'm just working and focusing, focusing in on creating great content. So out of these you know, 34 that I've created, 10 of them are already on the first page of Google and seven of them are ranking number one. That's a pretty amazing result, right? And what I'm seeing as far as the analytics are concerned, so let me go back and extend out this range. So over um, the last 90 days, according to Google Analytics, my traffic is up on my website 57%. So, um, because last year I would publish and I wouldn't do uh, a, a lot of stuff uh, to, to promote or anything like that. And I really am not doing anything to promote now either, but um, I, would, I would publish and then there would be like huge gaps of time between when I would publish. Because my idea then, and, and it's still, it's not a bad idea, but I would create this one epic piece of content that would be like 5,000 words long. So... Um, and then I would, you know, go and search and look for ideas uh, before I created something else. So there was a lot less content that was going out to my blog. So, um, but like I said, so since January, uh, my traffic is up 57.2%. Uh, my sessions are up 66%. My bounce rate has come down 8.1% and my time on site uh, or session duration is up 5%. So these are just little incremental changes that I've, that I've made in the way that I approach creating content because I'm, like I said, I'm trying to elevate myself and try to get my name out there as somebody that can help people in this space to create their platforms, right? Because several years ago, to give you a little bit of backstory, I read a book by Jeffrey Gittimer, and this is probably, you know, 10 years or so ago. And one of his things was, you know, create a personal website for you where you establish yourself as a subject matter expert. And that always resonated with me. And then I, you know, read another book about creating your own personal space. And then I read uh, Michael Hyatt's platform book. And that was like, you know, a big deal for me in terms of trying to figure out how to do this. So what I've really done over the last several years is take uh, you know the the best parts of what Gittimer talked about and what these other authors talked about and what Michael Hyatt talked about and what uh, Pat Flynn and Amy Porterfield have talked about and put these things together in uh, it, it for myself and put together this framework that uh, I've you know developed by you know learning all these things that's helped me to start to get these results. So I'm really encouraged by this and you know what I'm seeing is you know passive affiliate sales are up. Um, I had $200 in sales on stuff that I wasn't even trying to sell that came through over the weekend. Um, you know, and, and I've got, you know, uh, my subscriptions on my newsletter or my email lists are up. You know, I'm over 1,600 people on my list now. And, um, you know, so all of these numbers are continuing to grow and move in the right direction just because I've committed myself to creating content and being available to people and trying to help them solve their problems. So I wanted to share that with you because if, you know, maybe this is something that you struggle with, you know, the, the, the challenge to publish something 
every day, starting a couple years ago with, or at least it became popular a couple years ago with the One Funnel Away Challenge that um, that I took with, you know, the first time with Russell Brunson back in October of 2018. And, you know, when I, I saw that the first time, I'm not lying, it was like, there's no way I could do this. This is outrageous. But, you know, after thinking about it for a little while, you know, I spent some time doing it and I can tell you this stuff works. And the way that I'm doing this with the things that I've learned from the, very, the you know, all of the different people that I'm listening to and learning from have helped me to get these results uh, over this last period of time. So uh, if you want to learn more plat about platform funnels, hit me up with a question or a note below. Would love to hear from you. If you've got thoughts, questions, feedback about any of this stuff, let me know. I'd love to talk to you more and see if I can help you with something that you've got going on. So I just wanted to come in here and share that. It's the, the whole concept of publishing has really been uh, beneficial for what I'm doing online these days. So hope that helps you guys. Maybe it inspires you. Maybe um, it challenges you to uh, start doing something new. Um, but anyway, you guys, thanks for those of you guys that have been with me live. Uh, for those that are on the replay or listening on the podcast, I really appreciate you spending some time with me here to go through this stuff. Have a fantastic day. We'll talk to you later.